changing you. I have to remember. Remember what? What's missing? From season three, it's finally here, everyone. I am so excited to talk about it. So, without further ado, welcome to Solving the Mystery of Fromville. I'm your host, Selena, and today I'm going to be doing a review and share my theories for season three, episode one, called Shatter. Tabitha is at St. Anthony's Hospital in Cayman, Maine, in state of shock. When the doctor questions her about what happened, she remains silent. After leaving the hospital, Tabitha encounters the boy in white. This is her second time seeing the boy in white. Remember last season where he pushed her out the lighthouse? I believe that seeing the boy in white suggests that you are still trapped in the realm of From or are in another dimension as only a few individuals such as Ethan, Victor, Sarah, Elgin, and Tabitha can see him. Maybe they are chosen. I think everyone has a significant importance of what they need to do. I think he is trying to help. There is not one thing that he did wrong that I see throughout the entire season of season one and season two. Even when he pushes Tabitha out the lighthouse, if he wouldn't have done that, she would have never located Victor's father. Tabitha follows the boy into the coffee shop hoping to speak with him, but she's unable to make contact. Notice the significance of the number 55 on the coffee shop door. Victor's home number is 1597. That has a five in it as well. Hell, the sign at the town that says without incident, the number is five. Could these numbers have significance in terms of magic, Christianity, or folklore? So I did some research and the number five is an important number in mythology. The ancient Greeks and Romans also paid special attention to the number five as it was a sign of prosperity and luck. So what if Tabitha was lucky to be able to locate it, Victor's father home or she was lucky enough to survive in the hospital and the town they didn't have any incidents within the past five days. Boy continues to have encounters with Father Country, who reveals the dire situation in the town. Food shortage, sleepness, and changing weather. Father Country seems to want Boy to recognize the chaos in the town. Although Boy questions whether hope is feeding the forest, Boy doesn't believe it, and he questions the true identity of Father Country. That thing, whatever it was, it sure as hell wasn't my wife. So what are you? And Father Country says, I can't tell you that. I was like, damn it, Father Country, like, give us some type of hint or clue to let us know who you really are. Because boy did not believe that was his wife that he was talking to. Jim is determined to find his wife despite the impossibility of locating her since she's into the faraway tree. You're not going to be able to locate her, okay? She went inside the faraway tree, so I don't know how you was going to be able to find her. Driven by guilt, Jim insists on searching and Kenny decides to accompany him despite Boyd's objection. Jade is obsessed with deciphering the mystery symbol from the book, which is driving him to madness. I hope we get answers this season as my own research into similar symbols has yielded no results. As mentioned last year, the town is experiencing several severe weather changes and food shortage. Donna informed Boyd that the crops are failing and that there is no food. Randall, who has been irritating me since last season, continues to be a nuisance. Boyd pointed out that animals are their main resources, leading to a tense moment with Victor. I really wish that Victor would have popped him in his leg. Maybe he would have learned a lesson or something because Randall doesn't listen. He just do what he wants to do. The town discovers that food is scarce and Donna and Boy are considered harming the animals to obtain food. Jim and Kenny find what appears to be a voodoo head in the woods, which some speculate could indicate a cannibalism. While I'm not convinced, in my opinion, everyone will result to cannibalism. I suspect at least one character might be involved in the cannibalism aspect. My bet is on Fatima, who hasn't eaten and is being pressured by Ellis. 
in certain pregnancy horror movies there is someone eating raw meat spoiled veggies anything that is strange and unusual meaning that the baby is not human and not to mention the necklace that she was wearing last season is the same necklace from the movie rosemary's baby Tabitha seek guidance from the priest and during their conversation, it becomes clear that the priest knows about her son, Thomas, even though Tabitha haven't mentioned he was a boy. This raises suspicions, especially when considering the mystery boy in white. We already know that the boy in white isn't really a child, according to Sarah. What if the boy in white has the ability to change his appearance? What if the priest Tabitha was speaking to wasn't really a priest at all, but the boy in white disguised as him? Poor Elgin refused to go to sleep after what happened last season, but when he nods off, he wakes up and sees this woman. I don't know who she is, but doesn't she look like this person from the mini TV series called Rose Red? This isn't a theory, I just watch a lot of horror movies and TV shows. The monsters appear to be several steps ahead of the townspeople, setting traps and controlling the situation. For instance, when Ethan opens the door to save his favorite goat, the monster enters uninvited. A talisman on the door may or may not play a role, but the monster seems to choose when to enter or not. We also learn that Kenny's mother is unalive and the episode ends on a sober note when Kenny loses both parents, which is deeply tragic. There is still more to come in this season and it seems that the writers pull the card out early because in the trailer, I thought Kenny Ma was, wasn't going to be unalive in episode three or four, but I'm not mad at it. It means there are some things that we're not going to know. Let me know your thoughts and theories of episode one. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe and until then, see you later.